details tonight about a mother killed while pushing her baby in a stroller. She was crossing the street when she was struck by a truck. And Local 10 Samir Nefsi live in Miami with the heartbreaking details and an update on that infant. Samir. Calvin and Nicole, truly just a heartbreaking situation. So we know that six month old baby boy was taken here to Ryder Trauma Center to be evaluated by doctors said to be in good condition. Unfortunately and sadly, his 33 year old mother died on scene. For hours, this stretch of Biscayne Boulevard shut down. How heartbreaking is it that on, on Valentine's Day you're, you're, you're crossing, you're, you're just driving and needless to say, you just killed somebody. Police identified 33-year-old Jacqueline Sabog as the woman run over by this truck. Her lifeless body would remain pinned underneath the vehicle. On scene, her child's stroller mangled. The victim in this case was crossing in, in front of the truck not at the pedestrian crosswalk. Police say the driver from J&M Scaffold to Florida was stuck in standstill traffic when the incident occurred, unable to see the mother and child stopped in front of his truck. She was pushing a stroller. And inside the stroller was a uh, baby boy. Uh, we, es we estimate approximately six months old. The baby said to be alert and crying when first responders arrived. He was taken to Ryder Trauma, said to be in good condition. Police say after the driver realized what happened, he attempted to help, as did others in the area. City of Miami police emphasizing the importance of not veering from pedestrian crosswalks. We have these pedestrians that are crossing where they're not uh, supposed to be crossing, and accidents such as what happened today can happen to anyone. All right, and again, I just want to reiterate that that driver did stay on scene. Police saying that it appears that driver did everything by the book, so to speak, when in that when in that situation. So the investigation is ongoing. As for charges pertaining to that driver, it does not appear he will face any. Of course, the investigation again is ongoing. We're live at Ryder Trauma Center. I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News.